Morning, everybody. It's Timmy time. Thank you, you too. And off we go. The day has officially begun. Welcome. Another day. It's Tuesday. We're going to go do some trucking. I'm not too sure what's on the books for today, but it's going to include trucking. I have a sneaky suspicion. So let's drag ourselves over to the truck. We're in a good mood today. I slept good. That new mattress is amazing. Amazing. Like the bed frame was cheaper. The bed frame was uh, just like a 350 bucks. It's probably like 250 bucks American. Uh, but it, it looks nice. It fits our style. The mattress was the expensive part. And boy, worth every single penny. I never knew that those mattresses even existed. I didn't know that having a good mattress could change your, your energy levels and your day so much when you sleep better. It really is amazing. But, couldn't sleep any longer today. The alarm went off and said, Josh, get up, it's time to go trucking. It's a muddy, muddy day. Spring thaw is here. Everything is soft, everything is wet, everything is dirty, but summer's on the way. We're in Winnipeg. We got a 53 foot dry van behind us, empty. We're gonna go put something in it. doors for him here. There we go. They're definitely letting me know they're in the trailer today. They're either in a really big hurry or they're just being a little rougher than usual. But hey, as long as they load me up, I'm happy. I'm gonna take this stuff back to our yard where they can slice it and dice it, not literally, but figuratively, into which regions they need to go to, or maybe it's just one order. I don't know, last time I was here, I picked up an order that, or three different orders. One was going to Las Vegas, one was going to Connecticut, one was going to Georgia. I highly doubt they left that all on the same trailer. They probably, split it up into one truck going west, one truck going east, and one truck going down to Georgia. That's what I'm thinking. All right. Got us. Loaded up 21 skids. I believe that is one less than our maximum. We're gonna go take a look. Pull ourselves out of the dock here first. As soon as my brakes decide, it's a good time to release. There we go. back there and close the doors. Let's take a look at what they threw on us. These are going to... Oh, uh, one sec. I'll check that out for you guys in a second. They're going to the U.S. Uh, Virginia and Ohio. There's two orders on my trailer. One is going to Northwood, Ohio, and one's going to Springfield, Virginia. Look out, we're coming to your town. Won't be me, but... One of our trucks will be there. Probably take a few days to get there, but keep your eyes peeled. Let's go see what they, what the good people have given us. Pretty sure it's gonna be those pallets with that red shrink wrap again. One sec, we'll grab the door while we're going past here. Ugh. Oh, not even. It's 
a whole bunch of random skids. Okay. 21 of them. Oh, these are bigger than I thought. Huh. what it actually is. It's just miscellaneous parts and accessories. Well, I hope whoever ordered it knows what it is. <laughs> it's on the way, I picked it up. Should be on the highway in no time. We still got lots of daytime left. Lots of daytime. I'm gonna go this way this time. I went that way last time. I'm gonna go this way this time. I'm trying to find faster roads, you know? I know I could just go on Google and figure out which one's the actual fastest one, but sometimes Google's not right. Especially in Winnipeg. have a cement pad that runs all the way along and that's for where the dollies go down you want to put that on the cement it's kind of covered in dirt right now you can't really tell but you see these here these are on the asphalt we're gonna to have to move this back there soon because in a few weeks that's gonna start sinking into the asphalt too you always want to put your landing gear on the cement line that'll also tell you how straight your trailer is Another new trailer. Yeah, switch 
cheap trailers isn't that difficult at all. It doesn't take long. Less than 10 minutes. I bet you less than five minutes. Drop a trailer, grab a new one, and you're gone. The only difficult thing is winter time. But that's over with. usual fill it with air start the truck up check the lights there's a triaxle oh fancy wonder what kind of freight we're picking up more tires to kick oh springtime so messy lights are all working Hello. Oh, looks good to me. Are these airbags filling up? Okay, yeah, I see it lifting now. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So having an extra axle on the trailer like this allows us to haul more weight. That's why we have it. Huh. I didn't even realize this until the air filled up. This trailer's fancy. The front axle is a lift axle. See, it doesn't even touch the ground. So we only run on those two axles, but if we have enough weight, or if we have too much weight in the trailer for two axles, you set that axle down and you're now legal to drive on the roads again. Fascinating, yes, distinguished. Very nice. I've never pulled one of those trailers before. I feel important. So this truck's going into the shop tomorrow, or actually tonight. It's getting a new diff in the back, I believe. And some work done to her. She's gonna be in the shop for at least two days. So we're gonna have a substitute truck tomorrow. Truck guys. Good, we're attached. Okay, so this trailer needs to go all the way around the west, the west side of what I'm gonna get to Headingley. Gotta pick up some stuff there for another driver. I'm just the errand boy, apparently. Time is 3.37 now. I'll probably be done around like 6 o'clock again. I don't mind working a little later. I love driving trucks too much to complain about that. What's that? You want me to drive trucks a little past, a little past four o'clock? Oh, absolutely. One more load. It's always one more load. I'm an addict. I admit it. I'm addicted to trucking. back around like 1 o'clock and then we saw the afternoon but 
I have no idea which uh, truck I'll be in in the morning either. So tomorrow morning I'll get to work and I'll uh, figure out which truck I'm assigned to for the next couple of days and we'll figure it out. Oh, and I gotta make sure I got all the equipment as well. I'm gonna need a whole bunch of straps. I didn't quite hit it evenly. There's a little hanging over this side a little bit, but it's good enough that they can load me up anyway. It's not gonna be a full trailer, I don't think. So that looks fun. It's kind of sprayer. Let's throw that in the trailer. kids in there. Right in here. Cutting it a little 
little bit close. Should have taken that a bit wider, but I think this will work. spots back there. The mud has gotten worse. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, so we're gonna find a new parking spot for her. The shop's taking the semi tonight anyway. But uh, man, until they can get this packed down a little better and maybe get some gravel in there, I'm gonna, you know, even that's kind of soft over there too. This is all soft. Like, look at this. Somebody came in here. Look how soft this is. Holy smokes. I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe over here. Yeah, this looks a little better over here. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to uh, park over here or maybe along there. That looks pretty soft there too. Uh, even here, look. Guys are sinking in. Okay. So like I uh, was telling you the other day, this is some very new parking that we got going on here. Uh, they just assigned it as parking and I'm pretty sure they have plans to actually redo the ground so that the trucks won't sink in like this in spring. I can guarantee you it. They've already got gravel over there behind that truck. They're spreading it out, fixing some of the ruts over there. They'll fix it. 
it's the first year, so it's the first spring. They've expanded so quickly, gotten so busy that we are <laughs> running out of space to park all the trucks. 